Hey girl. Um, this is going to be very fast. It is Tuesday, the 22nd of November. I am 13 weeks exactly today. I just came home from the NT scan and everything came back. Um, the girl said everything looked normal. I still had the blood taken and I won't know that until my doctor's visit um, two weeks from now. But I just wanted to show you a quick picture. There's a baby's foot. If you hold it there, you can see the face, the little hand, and it was sucking its thumb. It was so cute. And you can kind of see the shape. You can see the brain on the left. And. little hand, hand and a foot, oh it's not very clear, hand and foot, oops, sorry, I got one of the photos, okay, do you see it? Possibly a boy. She wrote, if you could see it, um, there's a little arrow pointing to possible boy parts. I know at this stage they look very similar, but the girl said she was probably 90% sure. I'm only 13 weeks, and it's very early to be able to tell but the baby was not cooperating, so she had a lot of time to look at the baby. And um, she had me roll to my right, roll to my left, cough, um, go empty my bladder because it was too full. She had me walk up and down the hallway, trying to get the baby to lay on its back so that she could do the neck, um, the fluid in the neck measurement. And so we got to, she got to see the arms and the arms and the legs are so long. There's no uh, fat or skin, like there, there's no fat yet. So it, all you see is like skeleton arms and legs. And they're really, really long. Like as soon as she put the, the thing on my stomach, um, it like stretched its arms, like both of them like this and its legs like, ah. And it was so cute. It was sucking its thumb. You could see the little like, you know, like this and then the mouth like, like that, it was the cutest thing. And then it put his hand, like his arm, like, oh, or whatever, up over its head. It was like, I think, like, like putting on a little show for us. And what else? I don't know. It was just amazing. My mom got to go with me, and it's her first grandbaby, and so she was super excited. And then we just picked up my brother from, we met my, my dad at the mall. They just flew in from out of town. And um, I just told my brother and his wife, and so they're excited. They, you know, on her side, she, they're already aunts and uncles, but I'm his only sibling. It's just my brother and I. So um, it's gonna he's gonna be an uncle to his sister's little kid. So, and the girl said 90% sure that it's a boy. She's like, but don't go buying blue yet. She put a question mark on it just to save her butt. But. Um, I'm super excited. I'm not going to tell my fiance yet because I don't want to get him excited because he really, really wants a boy. He's terrified to have a girl. He's going to be too overprotective, he says, but um, he'll be super excited for, he'll be excited for either one, don't get me wrong, but I know that he, um, he'll be very happy, so I don't want to get his hopes up in case it's wrong, so I want to wait until a few more weeks until I get my next scan, because by then they should be able to tell, because I think my next one is probably going to be 16 or 18 weeks they're going to do another one. I don't know, it depends, because I'm at the high risk doctor, so I don't know if he's going to let me do another one. I'm hoping he'll let me do one before Christmas, because I think I'll be like 17 and a half weeks at Christmas, so if he can let me do one at like 17 weeks, that would be awesome, and then a follow-up one, I think at 22 or 24 weeks, they want to do um, probably the heart exam because my fiance's family, they have heart problems in their family and um, 
just to make sure. But everything looks good today. The, there was the nose, the bone. You could see like the plus sign, I think she said, or equal sign, whatever it was. The bone on the nose, that was there, which is awesome. Um, and the measurement was probably, I think, 1.34 is what she kept getting on the neck. So it was like, she said, that's really good. And it had five little fingers, five little toes. It had both arms, both legs. Like, so everything looked good. I'm super excited. Um, I can't wait. So I just want to update you. I am still nauseous, which is surprising because I really thought it was going to be a girl because of how sick I've been. Um, I just have a lingering nauseousness that I have like all day. And I try to drink lots of water. I'm living off of um, Chobani yogurt. It has a lot of protein in it and it's fat free because I can't take eating a lot of high fat foods right now. It still like ugh, makes it even worse. I can't do garlic, I can't do onions, like anything that's like a strong um, spice or flavor, it just it makes me sick. Like not necessarily like throw up, but just that lingering sickness that almost I would feel better if I did throw up because I, I would be sick for like nine hours. Just really bad nauseous, like like want to lay on the couch and just, oh, I feel terrible. But I, I love um, apples, kiwi, strawberry, carnation instant breakfast. That's what I have every single morning. Um, that's probably the best flavor I've noticed and has like, you know, the vitamins and stuff because I'm not able to eat a lot yet. I'm still down weight. I'm still down about five pounds. Like my, my, I'm five, two and a half and my pre-pregnancy weight was um, about 110, 111, but previous to doing all the hormones and everything like that, I, was, I averaged around 107, 108 is like my norm because I was working out and stuff like that. So um, I know that I've lost some of my muscle because I've stopped working out. You know, like I, I just limited walking. That's it. I don't even go to the gym to walk. I just walk outside a little bit every day, just a tiny bit. And I have stairs and stuff, so I just do everything like very minimal because I had the spotting and, the, and and stuff earlier so I'm just kind of scared to get back into anything so I think at this point I'll just keep what, what I'm doing because I'm scared to work out because I don't want to lose any more weight I'm already right now I am like 105 106 so I'm trying to gain weight and um but I know that definitely the baby's like stealing like everything that I eat is just like taking it from me <laughs> and that's why I feel like I'm um, I'm probably not gaining weight. It's just because the baby's what's gaining, but I'm I'm not gaining, storing any. It's like taking from me, and then whatever I eat, it's taking. So, um, all right. Well, have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And I'm trying to think. Hmm. I think that's all the symptoms I can think of right now. I did have a bad. Oh, I'm off the proge I'm off the progesterone for a week now. I'm off the metformin. I did decrease it. Um, I went from my 500 milligrams, then I cut it in half for a week, and then I cut that in half for a week. So I did about 500 to 250 to, you know, 125 or whatever. So, and I'm off of that now. I had a little bit of cramping. I got scared, but everything looks good. So I'll just leave it at that. And the placenta should be working good now. There's no yolk sac anymore. So I think that means in order for the baby to be alive, you the placenta has to be working or there has to be a yolk sac to give the nourishment and if there's no yolk sac then the placenta has got to be working so I think I'm good with the progesterone and what else my face yeah it's still a little broken out but I don't care whatever that's what makeup's for all right well thanks for watching girls and thank you so much for the new subscribers and baby dust sticky dust and have a happy Thanksgiving and safe travels to everybody. All right. Bye, girls.